Hey guys, what's going on? Maggie from MNR here. Today I want to welcome you to our Polaris showroom. You're going to hear a lot about the Polaris today. And first up speaking, we have Patrick Lashbrook, who's our technical sales manager for MNR. My name is Patrick Lashbrook. I'm the smart product sales manager for MNR printing equipment, and I am excited to bring to you the MNR Polaris high speed DTG printer. This machine is about three years in the making. We set the bar extremely high to get that retail quality that we felt the current DTG market was lacking. As you can see this is built off of two similar machines the striker which we have about over 160 of those machines printing globally and the digital squeegee 4000 which we have around 100 of those on order and about 90 of them around the globe printing every day day in day out so we know we started with a really good base for this machine which is fantastic so you know it's going to be reliable day in and day out with 10 machines in the field over the last six months the Polaris has produced over a million garments. And with constant feedback from the customers, we've produced the Polaris that you see behind me. Now let me show you some of the features that customers are so excited about. So starting off at the beginning of the machine, you have your load station. And at this station, you have everything at your fingertips that you need to run this machine during production all day long. There's some really cool, unique features here. One being the no shirt detector that everyone has come to love on our carousel printing machines. So as you're loading, if you miss load for whatever reason, you can just let the pallet go on by and it's gonna skip the pallet no problem. So on the Polaris, we're using the tuck lock pallet system. These pallets are fantastic because there's no clamshells to open or close. There's no pallet adhesive, make it very easy to load and unload the garment. So all you need to do is when you're loading, you load it straight on the pallet and tuck it in the front and the back of the garment and you're set and ready to go. So as you're loading your shirt, you can utilize the barcode scanner, which would sync up the garment to the piece of artwork. And you can visually see it on the monitor here as it goes around the machine. The operator has everything they need at this station to run production all day long. So now that the shirt is loaded, it needs to be prepared to receive a high quality digital print. The first step in the process of getting a beautiful looking print is making sure we have a smooth surface. So we've put a heat press in station number one to make sure we lay down those fibers prior to doing any printing or pre-treating. A really cool unique feature of this heat press is that it has high lift. So every heat press around this machine, you can easily lift it up, wipe underneath it to clean off any fibers or anything that may have happened and lower it right back down, all pneumatically. So after we get a good smooth foundation with the first heat press, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is pre-treatment. The pre-treat machine utilizes two nozzles, one nozzle for dark shirt pre-treatment, one nozzle for light shirt pre-treatment. This is triggered based on the garment type and artwork you may be using. We're only using one nozzle per type of pre-treatment to try to eliminate any banding you may have from having multiple nozzles in a line. Also, within the recipe, you can control the distance that the pre-treater sprays along with the quantity of pre-treatment that is gonna go down on the garment. Because different garments, different artworks are gonna require different quantities of pre-treatment. So the Polaris uses a dry pre-treatment system. So after we lay down the pre-treatment, we have to dry it. We do this by utilizing three high airflow quartz flashes. Just like the Red Chili D, there are temperature sensors built into the machine. This helps maintain an even temperature across the entire print. A feature that everyone's come to know is the ability to jog the pallets left and right at every station along the machine. So on every device around the machine, we've included the jog feature. Now that the shirt is dry, we can go throw down some ink. Before we get into the white printer, I wanna show you the safety systems. Around the machine at key points, there are emergency stops, physical barriers, and yellow safety cords. Before you go into the machine to do any work, you need to hit an emergency stop and break the yellow cord. So now that the safety system is engaged, we can take a closer look at the white printer. The white printer on the Polaris uses 16 Ricoh Gen 5 print heads. This gives us the ability to run 15 inches wide all in one pass. A great feature of the white printer is the recirculation system. The white ink is constantly being recirculated throughout all the ink lines. There's also agitators in the white tanks to keep ink from settling. You can actually hear the system running now even though the machine is off. We printed white on a dry pre-treated surface. After that, we're gonna flash the white before we're laying down the CMYK. This is gonna help achieve the most vibrant print you can have, even after it goes through the dryer. We're gonna lay down the CMYK. This will give you a vibrant print that is retail quality and ready to ship to the customer after it's cured through the dryer. We're all really excited about this product. The Polaris comes with the same service, support, and reliability that you've come to trust over the last 30 plus years.